In this final installment of the Mystic Horse series, we delve deeper into the world of unicorns together, uncovering their secrets from their ancient origins to their modern day impact. In modern form, unicorns are typically depicted as horse-like creatures with a single spiral horn protruding from their forehead. They are often described as being pure white in color, although in some depictions they may be other colors such as silver, gold, or pastel shades. In more recent times, unicorns have taken on a more whimsical and cartoon-like appearance. They are often depicted with bright colors, sparkles, and other fantastical features such as wings or glittery hooves. This playful and colorful version of the unicorn has become especially popular in modern children's media. But you know what? In history, unicorns actually looked like this at the beginning. Monstrous, powerful, and not even resembling a horse. This image of a unicorn comes from the Indus Valley Civilization in the ancient Near East around 2000 BC. However, it may be that these images were intended to be aurochs, a type of larger wild cattle that formerly roamed Europe, Asia, and North Africa. Greek historian Tiseyes first documented a unicorn-like animal in his writings of the region of India around 400 BC. He described them as wild asses, fleet of foot, having a horn a cubit and a half in length and colored white, red, and black. Unicorn meat was said to be too bitter to eat. These ancient animals might have been the real-life inspiration for the mythical unicorn. Interestingly, a mythical image of the unicorn appeared in many ancient countries despite their very difficult cultural backgrounds. In Greek mythology, the unicorn was known as the Monoceros and was said to have the body of a horse, the feet of an elephant, the tail of a boar, and a single horn in the center of its forehead. In ancient Persia, the unicorn was known as the Shad Havar and was said to be a gentle, herbivorous creature with a single horn. In China, the Gilan was a unicorn-like creature with the body of a deer, the scales of a dragon, and a single horn on its forehead. Although the images of unicorns in different countries originated from different real animals such as the narwhal, rhinoceros, or oryxes, they had always been symbols of purity, good luck, and magical power in different myths and folklore. The word unicorn isn't evidenced in English until the Middle Ages. The unicorn's inclusion in a text of such magnitude laid the foundation for an obsession with the creature. The unicorn was mentioned in some English translations of the Bible, particularly in the King James Version. However, it is important to note that the unicorn mentioned in the Bible is likely a mistranslation of the Hebrew word re'em, which actually referred to a wild ox. In the King James Version of the Bible, the unicorn is described as a powerful and untamable creature. Many people believed that the biblical unicorn was a real animal and should not be confused with the mythical creature that has been popularized in literature. So what kind of image and character did the unicorns popular in literature and art at the time have? In medieval art and literature, unicorns resembled their modern counterparts. The unicorn was often depicted as a horse-like creature with a single spiraled horn protruding from its forehead. The unicorn was usually shown with a pure white coat, which symbolized its purity and innocence. According to medieval legend, the unicorn was so pure and virtuous that it could only be approached by someone who was equally pure of heart. Therefore, the connection between unicorns and virgins was often portrayed in elaborate and romanticized scenes in many medieval works of art. The virgin maiden would be depicted as approaching the unicorn with a sense of calm and confidence, while the unicorn would be shown as docile and gentle, nuzzling against the maiden's hand. The unicorn was also seen as a symbol of Christ and his virgin birth, and the virgin maiden who could capture the creature was seen as a symbol of the Virgin Mary. This relationship between unicorns and virgins was also significant in the context of courtly love and chivalry where the pursuit of a virtuous lady was seen as a central aspect of knightly behavior. 
In this context, the unicorn represented the ultimate goal of a heroic knight's quest, a pure and virtuous maiden who embodied all of the ideals of courtly love. On the other hand, the unicorn played an important role in medieval courtly culture, where it was often used as a symbol of royalty and nobility. In this context, unicorns were often depicted on tapestries, paintings, and other decorative objects, and were featured alongside other heraldic symbols such as lions and eagles. It must be mentioned the Lady and the Unicorn, considered one of the greatest works of medieval European art. It has also been called everything from the Mona Lisa of the Middle Ages to a national treasure of France. The Lady and the Unicorn is a series of six tapestries that are thought to have been woven in Flanders in the late 15th century. Each of the six tapestries depicts a noble woman with the unicorn on her left and a lion on her right. The Lady is shown in a variety of poses, with the unicorn often depicted in a playful and affectionate manner, such as nuzzling against her or resting its head on her lap. The tapestries have been interpreted in a variety of ways, with some scholars seeing them as a depiction of courtly love, and others as a commentary on the five senses. In addition to being associated with Christ, maidens, knights and courts, unicorns were also notable for their healing power. In the past, unicorn horns were widely reputed to have magical or healing qualities and were much sought after to treat illnesses from epilepsy to plague. According to some legends, a unicorn could even purify poisoned water with a dip of its horn. It is also believed that touching a unicorn's horn brings healing or good fortune. Many wealthy people sought to buy unicorn horns to extend their lives or give themselves protection from bad luck. Most of these horns actually belonged to rhinoceroses or norwals, but the nobility coveted them and paid high prices to own one. This magical ability of unicorns has not changed throughout history. In the Harry Potter series, beloved by modern teens, unicorn hairs are one of the three powerful wand cores, and unicorn blood can prolong life. So unicorns have been around for ages, but they are still totally hot right now. Over the years, the unicorn has transformed from an untamed beast to a saccharian symbol. The physical perception of the unicorn has evolved from a white, pure, and elegant horse to a sparkly and colorful creature. Unicorns are increasingly seen with rainbow manes, rainbow tails, or even pooping rainbows. These colorful and whimsical creatures have become an increasingly popular symbol of innocence, purity, and joy. They are often used in children's media, such as toys, books, and cartoons, as a representation of childhood innocence and wonder. Additionally, unicorns aren't just adored by children. The popularity of unicorns in recent years can be attributed to the rise of social media and the internet, which have made it easier for people to share their love of these mythical creatures. According to Google Trend, the global search of the term unicorn reached its highest point during April 2017 when Starbucks launched its unicorn frappuccino. In the few years not far from today, unicorns have set off a boom in the global market through the internet. Like avocado in the food world, unicorns are perhaps the most Instagrammable of all creatures and many companies have seized business opportunities and started marketing unicorn-themed products. Cuddly toys, glittery stickers, ice cream and cupcakes with added glitter in rainbow colors, onesie, slippers, t-shirts, makeup brushes, eyeshadow, glittery body gel, and many more. A fluffy unicorn from Pony Cycle is also very popular and children travel through the delightful, magical world as if they were riding a real mythical creature. On the other hand, unicorns have taken on new meanings and interpretations. The word unicorn has gone on to name a person or thing that is rare and highly valued, whether that's a billion dollar startup or that special someone in your life. The gender fluidity of the unicorn also makes it a suitable representation of the LGBT community. Unicorns become a queer icon 
second only to the rainbow flag, symbolizing queerness. Unicorns may not be real, but the word unicorn is far from fiction in our culture. Unicorns continue to captivate and inspire people of all ages, serving as a reminder of the power of wonder, imagination, and the pursuit of pure and noble ideas. Thank you for watching the last episode of our Mythical Horse series. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more about horses, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to be notified of our upcoming videos.